Hello YouTube, and welcome to another video by me, John, and I'm going to be doing a lot of caffeine right now. Um, so these are basically three different uh, new beverages by the Pepsi Corporation. Um, I've had some of them in the series, and these are just the, the remnants, the scraps that I have not uh, been able to find yet, but finally have. And now I'm just going to put them all, three of these together, into one video and tell you what I think about each one. So, the first one is a Pepsi product in the Pepsi line. It's called the 1893, and it's uh, from, the makers of, from the makers of Pepsi Cola. This is a black currant cola, flavored with other natural flavors. Premium cola finished with a bold berry finish. Um, and then if you look at the back in the, the special ingredients that are listed, it says blended cola made with cola nut extract, black currant essence, sparkling water, and real sugar. So if you uh, remember my other videos, uh, they had a original flavor, a ginger flavor, and a citrus flavor, all of which I've done before. This was the only one I had missing. And now I'm gonna try the Black Current 1893 Pepsi. It's got the regular dark cola color to it. It has a faint berry smell to it. Probably like a blackberry smell. The, the berry or the fruit flavor in here is very subtle. If you didn't, if it didn't say black currant on the can, um, I probably wouldn't have automatically thought berry. By the way, is currant a berry? I thought currants were like raisins. I've bought currants before and they look like really small raisins. But I know raisins are grapes, so currants must be like a type of grape. Are grapes considered berries? I don't know. But anyway, as the flavor like dissipates on my tongue, it does leave like almost a raisiny flavor in my mouth, which is weird. It's not bad. Um, it's not like amazingly great. I probably wouldn't go out uh, searching for this but it's a it's a solid like 8 out of 10 type of soda if you like soda you're gonna enjoy this especially if you like Pepsi because it tastes just like uh, a Pepsi product yeah it's pretty good um, you know, like I said like the the berry flavor doesn't really hit you until like you put the glass down and you wait for that flavor to kind of sit on your tongue for a while. Um, probably would taste good like actually uh, mixed with um, maybe like some cognac. Uh, cognac because I know cognac is like a wine, uh, so it's like a grape base. So this probably would naturally work well with a, a cognac. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. So next up we have uh, two types of Mountain Dew. So Mountain Dew um, in the past came out with a black label, which I did a review for. Um, I wasn't too impressed with it. I uh, didn't have um, amazing flavor or ingredients. But uh, now we have one called Mountain Dew white label and it is a 
dew crafted with tropical citrus. It also says mysteriously exotic dew. Um, it says the ingredients have white grape concentrate, concentrated orange juice. So grape and orange, maybe? It's not very exotic or mysterious. So let's try it out. It does pour like a white colored soda, almost like a squirt or a fresca. It has like a citrusy smell to it. Yeah, you can definitely like taste some like white grape notes to it. And that citrus probably coming from the orange juice. But it almost has like a, a grapefruit flavor to it. Because it has like a bitter, um, bitter edge to it. I do like this better than the, the black label. Just because this is like uh, more... Uh, unique and exotic flavor whereas the black label didn't really taste too much different and you could really tell that this was just a Mountain Dew whereas this um, if it didn't have Mountain Dew label on it I wouldn't have called it Mountain Dew it's refreshing I wouldn't call it tropical like it says on the thing crafted tropical citrus But it is a unique flavor. I'll give this one like a an eight and a half out of ten. It's pretty good. Um, I would definitely recommend that uh, you give this one a try. Uh, see if you if like that kind of thing. Whereas the Pepsi one, there's really no reason to run out and try that one. But uh, this one, I would definitely give a try. Um, you might really like that. So, lastly, we have Mountain Dew Green Label. Now, this one says it's a green apple kiwi, curiously daring dew. And let's see, the ingredients we have a green apple juice, kiwi juice concentrate. Yeah, so there is green apple and kiwi juice in this. So green apple I think of kind of like sour tart. And kiwi also has like a, a sourness to it. So I'm expecting this to have some kind of tart sour flavor. But yeah, that's like neon green. Almost like a a green river but more more neon this would be like a interesting like party drink just because of the color really catches your eye I definitely get like an apple like a, almost a candy apple kind of smell to it like a, a green apple gummy kind of smell it actually smells a lot like uh, gummy bears, just like if you opened a packet of gummy bears. Let's go taste. That is tasty. This tastes like just how I describe the smell. If you had took taken all the green gummy bears out of a packet and somehow infused um, like Sprite with that flavor that's what this is it's like green gummy bear soda this is definitely my favorite out of these three and uh, out of all the 
uh, Mountain Dew labels. Uh, this green one, definitely my favorite. I don't really get a lot of kiwi to it, but uh, I don't really get green apple per se out of it. It's more like that green candy flavor. But uh, I really like it. Um, I'm going to give this one, uh, let's say, a 9.5 out of 10. Um, I wouldn't really mix this with any kind of alcohol just because, like, it's really sweet. And I don't really like mixing too much things that are super sweet with my alcohol. Let me see if it has more sugar than the other one. It was 35 grams per can. This has 35 grams per can. And this has 39 grams per can. And this one is 12 ounces. Interesting. So even though that the Pepsi is 12 ounces, while these are 16 ounce cans, the Pepsi still has more sugar. That is weird. And it doesn't even taste the sweetest. This one tastes the sweetest. I don't know if they were going for like a gummy bear flavor. But uh, maybe that's like a, a place where soda companies should start looking now for new interesting flavors because this one was really good. It might just be because I really like gummy candy. Um, but anyway, that's my favorite. The white labels, probably my second favorite out of these three. And in the line of Mountain Dew labels, I would go green, white, and then black for the 1893 Pepsis. Um, this one is just not very special. It's not bad. The ginger one is probably my favorite out of those just because it has the most unique, special flavor to it. But uh, I really thought when I was drinking all the 1893 Pepsis, excuse me, that they're they taste like they've been made to go into some type of cocktail. Um, just with like the classic ingredients. Um, the ginger probably goes well. Kind of like a, a what do you call it? the Moscow Mules. Um, so some kind of combination between like a Moscow Mule and like a, a, a rum and coke kind of cocktail. Um, like I said, this one probably tastes good mixed with like a cognac just because of the dark uh, grapey flavors. And um, the other ones probably have something. The citrus one, that could go like a, a Manhattan or an old fashioned kind of thing. But I, I, I think that's, that's what Pepsi was going for with the 1893 ones. It's more either just tasting themselves like a cocktail or just being good mixed as one. The Mountain Dews, I wouldn't mix any of them with alcohol, uh, but uh, they're just alright, except for this one, it's really good. But uh, I would definitely suggest you try these two. You could probably skip the Black Label, it doesn't have anything too special with it, but uh, I think that's it. I think I'm just rambling now. So. If you guys have tried any of these, let me know in the comments. Other than that, that's the end of this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.